changes. So a lot of people that are new to this channel and new to my Facebook group asked me what are the cheapest items to sell on uh, eBay and Amazon and Poshmark. What are the lowest cost pieces of inventory they can get? Um, obviously clothing, most clothing buyers and sellers are averaging one to three dollars a unit, but they wanted to know outside of clothing and maybe even outside of shoes, what are some of the lowest cost pieces of merchandise? Because some of them saw that I posted about buying cameras and lenses that might cost a hundred, a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. They don't have the money to buy more than one or two of those. So they want some low cost, small inventory that they can store. Maybe they're working out of their garage, out of their house and uh, you know, cheapest $1, $2 items that will actually sell for decent margins and sell pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna put together a list, which I'm gonna go over to my computer and go over to the camera and um, show you guys some of those other cheap one, two, three dollar items because there's plenty of low cost inventory where if you just have a hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars to play with for inventory, that you could actually pick up a solid amount of uh, pieces to list. I mean, you could take items that are a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars each, and if you only have two or three hundred bucks, you can get yourself a hundred pieces of inventory. And if you could only sell half of those, 50 pieces, at a net $10, $12 each, you could make five or six hundred dollars profit and still have 50 sitting in inventory to sell as you go about. And you could probably turn those over in a month, you know, 100 pieces, you could get them up if you listed 20 a day in a week, uh, you know, worst case week and a half. So let's go over, take a look at some of the lowest cost, easiest items to sell on eBay that won't drain your bank account if you don't have a lot of capital to work with. All right, so I'm going to show you a few of the first items, eBay and Amazon, and the second set of items are going to be eBay only. So I'm going to start with one of my favorite items, the remote controls. This is for surround sound remotes, anything like Bose or Yamaha, any of the LCD screen remotes are really good if they control the whole house, the lights. These things can be worth a lot. I usually pick them up at thrift stores or uh, flea markets, yard sales, like a buck a piece, 50 cents a piece. And you're targeting things that you can sell for 12, 15, 18, $20. Uh, most of them aren't going to be over 20, but if you can get at least 12 or 13 for them, then you can make a few bucks with very little investment and they should sell pretty quickly. So as we scroll down here, we can see like Harman Kardon, that's a sound system company. Uh, that one sold for 11.75. Here's an NEC, an older one that sold for $23, probably really hard to replace. Here's a RC8000 remote with the full LCD screen from Denon, $55 pre-owned. That's pretty crazy. A Carry Audio sold for $66 all in, $59 and $7. A Carver Intelligent remote for $35 all in. Uh, here's another theater surround sound, $15, $15, 40 for a Harman Kardon. So you need to check these out because they can be worth anywhere from 15 to 55 depending on the remote. They're also good for um, Amazon. And remember, these things are going to be low cost. You're talking a dollar average cost of goods. Should be a good profit. 15 to 20 should be your target on these for sale price. Anything above that is great. On Amazon, you can get even more. Here's a Bose surround sound mini remote that I actually sold for 20 two or $24 just a couple weeks ago. Here they are, they start at 20, $21 and go up to $35. So that's a good remote. Again, these are really small. They're quick and easy to ship. Put them in a little bubble mailer, a little bubble wrap around them. They'll ship out cheap, three bucks, 350. And you can store literally inside of one bin, small, medium sized bin, you could store 30, 40 of these. You could get a couple hundred, you could buy a pallet of remotes and store them in one little um, section of a shelving unit or a big bin or whatever. So great small item. They're available for eBay and Amazon. They're typically unlocked on Amazon. I can't think of any that have ever been locked for me. So number one, they're remotes. Okay. Number two, video games. One of my bread and butters, old uh, things that I used to do thousands of. Um, I've just looked up one of my favorite games, which is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it's a PS1 game, so it's really old. It's from 97, so you're talking about 20, what, 22 years old this game is. Uh, I still own it to this day. In fact, I own it on my iPhone. Believe it or not, you can download this and play it on your iPhone. The entire game start to finish, which is crazy. It's like $15, but I used uh, an iTunes card that I had. So this game still selling for $25, $20 and up for the whole thing, $25. Um, the Black Edition label, $43. So again, video games, you can store them. You know, you could buy a DVD or, or disc shelf really cheap at Walmart and store 100, 200, 300 video games without taking up hardly any room. Again, you're going to try to pay a couple dollars, sell these for 15, 20 and up. 
And then over on Amazon, same thing, video games. I looked up Dragon Quest, uh, $33 on up. And so this is a 3DS, a Nintendo 3DS game. So always be looking for video games. Don't look for media. DVDs and music tend not to do very well unless you're ungated, which is rare. Uh, if you are, then you certainly can. But otherwise, video games, majority of them, I'd say about 85 to 90% are ungated. Double check, especially Pokemon, can be gated. All right, next is handheld video games. You know, Nintendo 3DSs, Game Boys, they all sell well. But the older, like, Radica and Tiger, you know, this Paperboy, Battletoads, look, $30. Fishing, baseball, some of these things are worth $15, $20 on up to $30. Some of them aren't worth much, but just make sure that, you know, if it's Sonic or X-Men or, um, you know, any of the popular games, Double Dragons, Gauntlet, which is one that I owned way back in the day. Love that game. Um, they can be worth anywhere from 10 to 15 on up to $20, $25. Some of them, again, not worth too much, but you'll have to look it up. Vintage Pokédex game, look, $34. Uh, Castlevania, 33 with best offer. Power Rangers sold for 14 Darkwing Duck sold for 27 talking x-men for 26 so you can get some good value you'll see these at yard sales all the time 50 cents a buck no one wants to play them anymore they just get rid of them you'll find them over on amazon as well this is a free sell solitaire game not even that old starting at 31 dollars used on up they do very well all right next is video game controllers i didn't lump them together because this is totally different anything like Nintendo 64, Atari, vintage video game controllers. You know, some of these are 12 and 15. Some of these go up, you know, 20 for the green one, uh, 22 for the clear one, 20 for this Nyko Alpha, 27 for the Pro 64. This yellow one sold for $31 all in. The clear green transparent sold for 37. So some of these you can do 25, 30, $35. Look, they got 46 for two of them. That's 23 each. Pick those up at a yard sale for two or three dollars. Sell them for 46. Great profits. Um, so keep that in mind when you're looking for any kind of controllers to look them up. Again, over on Amazon, a DualShock 4 wireless controller for PS4. $38 and up. That's because they're 50 bucks brand new typically. All right, next is going to be eBay only. Vintage snapback hats. Why? They're easy to ship, they're easy to store, and they're great sellers. Now, some people put these in boxes to ship these. Um, I'm not totally against that. You can do it in first class if you protect them. Uh, there's ways to do it. I have videos about it, but you just have to pack them correctly, uh, whichever way you go. But the vintage hats, look at this NASA one, $28. Um, Ducks Unlimited, 15 This trucker orange mesh one sold for $17.50. The Sharks, who are in the uh, NHL Finals right now, $12. The Western Conference Finals, another one for $23. Um, Naval Station Roosevelt was up for $31. They took a best offer on it. Here, somebody sold one for $61 as an auction, a lot of 60 A Shell Gas Station one sold for $25. These hats are crazy popular. John Deere sold for $30 all in. Um, Florida Gators 15 you should be able to get 15 20 for most of these if they're quality up to 25 or 30 so another good one typically a dollar two in cost another eBay only one is one of my favorite items you guys know neckties uh, Vineyard Vines you're looking for any designer you know Brooks Brothers does okay Hermes does great Louis does great um, Jay Garcia does okay sports teams doctors Nicole Miller anything like those will do well uh, here's Vineyard Vines, $25 to $30 neckties, some of them above $30. Again, stuff you should be able to pick up for a buck or two. Easy to store, lightweight, same shipping on pretty much all of them, unless it's weird, but $2.92, um, $3. You can store hundreds of these in a couple little bins. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Next item used to be eBay or Amazon, but it's eBay only now. Amazon stopped allowing people to sell Apple products unless they're a licensed third-party distributor or Apple itself. So pretty much everybody gated on Apple products. But the old iPods, Nano Shuffles Classics do well. Here's a Nano 6th generation. This is like circa 2003, 2000. These are at least 10 to 15 years old. Still selling for, you know, the, the lower gigs for 35, 40 up to $50 and the higher gigs, $50 to $70, $80, some of them. Um, you know, maybe somebody's selling it at a yard sale for 20 bucks. Maybe somebody puts it on Craigslist for 25 or 30 bucks or Facebook Marketplace. And so you can make yourself some money on these. Number eight 
is weird craft things. So I looked up glass typewriter keys because I know they're ones that sell. Um, the old vintage ones, you know, 25, 20, 25, 40, 30. But anything crafting wise, uh, you know, craft supplies, um, the needles, the latch hook supplies, all that stuff sells really good. This just happens to be one that I looked up. People buy Scrabble tiles by the bag for $15 and $20. Keep an eye out for crafting materials. Really, really good. Again, small, lightweight, easy to ship, easy to store, easy to sell, easy to list. And uh, they usually really good sell-through rates on this stuff as well. Number nine is one that I'm not too familiar with. But it is one that a lot of you sell and a lot of you do well on, especially with estate sales and um, yard sale, thrift sales, is costume jewelry, turquoise jewelry, sapphire, ruby, amber, topaz, anything like costume and gemstone jewelry. Just doing a search for turquoise rings. Look at these turquoise rings. I mean, 40s, 50s, 100s. Uh, pretty good. You find them for 5 and 10 bucks a unit. Take them home, sell them for $25, $35, $45. Uh, you know, this is just one that I looked up. But costume jewelry can be really really expensive so something you want to keep an eye out for i don't sell i've only sold a few pieces uh, in my life but they do really well look traditional old pawn navajo turquoise sterling ring size six sold for 63 dollars picked it up in an estate sale five or ten bucks you'd be pretty happy right there and the last one is board game and replacement game pieces anything that replaces something where somebody could be missing something a missing tv remote a missing surround sound remote missing video game uh, controllers, missing batteries, missing, um, you know, board game pieces, Monopoly money, Heroes Quest pieces, uh, some more Hero Quest, Monopoly tokens, um, Hero Quest again, Harry Potter game tokens, any of this kind of stuff, look it up. Some of it's going to be worthless, but some of it's going to be worth a lot of money. It's very small. It's easy. People will sell this for cheap. You won't have a lot of competition. There's not going to be 10,000 pieces of Harry Potter replacement tokens. There's going to be 10, 20, Maybe it'll sell in a week, maybe in a month, but it t doesn't take any storage. It's low cost, low inventory, and you're diversifying outside of clothes. So small, lightweight, low storage, low cost, low uh, inventory overhead, low maintenance items that you can sell for good profits and not have a lot of cost of goods in, not a lot of inventory tied up, and it will move. It will sell. It has good sell-through rates, and this will help you diversify your stores. A little bit of Amazon items, mostly eBay, but some Amazon to mix in there as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll try to provide more videos like this of some unique items to look for so you can uh, diversify what you are searching for. And if you need help with more items, I will link below my bundle of 10 Bolo guides. They are $25. Pick them up now. You get all 10 guides with 625 more items beyond this video that you can hunt for that will be good profits for you. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I will see you next time.